Welcome to West Ham United. Welcome to Ironcast, Konstantinos Mavropatnos. Did I get that right? Yeah, yeah, it's right. You can call me Dinos. And, yeah. uh, so everyone calls you Dinos. <laughs> I'm glad thank you, you said thank that. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> so Dinos, is that a nickname? Yeah, exactly. Great. And now you're back in the Premier League. You just had a tour of the London Stadium. How did you find it? Yeah, I'm, I'm really happy and excited to be back uh, in the Premier League and, uh, of course, uh, to West Ham United. Yeah, I've, I've just seen you've got you picked the number 15. Yeah. So how comes you pick number 15? You know who's worn that in the past? Rio Ferdinand, Craig Dawson. What does it mean to you? Uh, I can say that I didn't have any reason to pick uh, number 15, but uh, yeah, I had the five last season, so more or less it's the same. Okay, Makes sense. good answer. <laughs> yeah. You've actually, you were spotted at West Ham, you were spotted at the London Stadium against Chelsea, you were there. What an atmosphere, what a result, how did you find it? Yeah, exactly. Uh, the atmosphere was amazing, the fans was uh, outstanding and the result as well were really good for the team. Yeah, yeah. The, I mean, and there's so many great performances and the, the noise the London Stadium generates. You must be so excited about playing. Here. Yeah, yeah. It was amazing, as I said before, and I can't wait to, to be on the pitch to leave this. I mean, as a, as a new sign-in, to come and watch that as your first game in the atmosphere, I, I had, it's probably one of the best atmospheres I, I had seen for, I've heard here for, since I've been coming back. So um, as a new signing, you must be looking forward to getting out there and playing in front of the uh, in front of the West Ham yeah, fans. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And uh, I was lucky enough to, to watch this game as a first game. And uh, yeah, big win, as I said before. So I'm looking forward to, to be on the pitch. So you come from Stuttgart. For any West Ham fans who haven't seen you play before, how would you describe your playing style? Uh, I'm a team player, I can say. I, I, tr I try to adapt to the team directly. And uh, and yeah, I'm, I like to 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 defend all the time. So yeah, I'm you, defender. <laughs> you're, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's I mean, what I like you're, to, yeah. you're meant to be a defender. Yeah. But the Bundesliga, I don't know if you know this. They put a video on YouTube yesterday, and it was Konstantinos Mavropanos goals, dribbles, <laughs> skills. You can't make a video like that about many defenders <laughs> these days. The goals you're scoring in this video are unbelievable. You've got a foot on you. Yeah, I, I scored a couple of nice goals, I can say. But uh, yeah, my main my main job is to to defend the goal. Yeah, I, I like I like your the way you're talking because I was I class myself as a proper defender. I didn't score I didn't score <laughs> I, I certainly didn't score goals like you score goals. So it's, it's great to see. If the Premier League made a Ginger Pele, James Collins Ooh. goals, skills, dribbles video, how long how long would it last? It's Twenty seconds. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I, you, you could probably do a. 10 hour video on headers <laughs> and clearances but not yeah. not goals i didn't score i don't think i ever scored outside the box that, and i didn't score many at that either um well we you saw james ward prowse at the weekend i mean most people will consider a defender to be scoring headed goals and you've got those in the locker too are you looking forward to linking up with james ward prowse those dead balls that yeah, might be yeah yeah he's he's a great player first of all and uh the calmness that he has on the pitch is 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 uh, uh it's crazy and uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to have maybe some combinations with him. Yeah, you, so you used to be in the Premier League, you played for Arsenal for a little bit and obviously you've gone to Stuttgart and done amazing things. I wondered, what has changed for you? Because you've become such a cult hero at Stuttgart. What's changed in your mentality since the last time you were in the Premier League? Yeah, since I was uh, I was in Stuttgart, I, I really work, uh, work with myself to, to get better and improve. Uh, I was playing many games there and uh, I, I gain a lot of confidence and um, I'm ready for this step again. Do you... Since you've been away in Stuttgart, have you noticed a difference in the Premier League? I think me, I, I finished in 2008. So I think me now, looking at the Premier League, every team has a world-class centre forward. I think the standard of centre forward has gone up. Uh, since you've been away, you've obviously become a better player. Um, do you think the Premier League's changed since you've been away? Uh, no, it was always in a high level, you know. Yeah. I think it's the best league in the world. Uh, so that says it all, you know. Yeah, yeah. Jim just mentioned the fact that centre forwards are getting better, but I read something about the, you that when you were young you played up front. Yeah, right? as a kid, as a kid, I think everyone tries to go all around the, the positions. <laughs> this, yeah, this is random. I did the same as well. Yeah, I, yeah. I played for Cardiff. I, I made my debut for Cardiff at centre forward, and I think they realised soon that I wasn't, I wasn't, <laughs> I wasn't very good at centre forward, and I, I start, slowly started moving back down the pitch. But yeah, I was the same. So I don't know if you know this. Dinos, you're the first ever Greek international to play for West Ham United. There's been a few kind of West Ham conversations. We had a player called Stan Lazaridis who had a Greek parent, but mm -hmm. he played for Australia. So you're officially, I think, the first ever Greek international. Can West Ham look forward to seeing plenty of Greek fans with West Ham shirts on in the streets of Greece? Are you about to bring a huge Greek yeah, that would, base along with you. That that would be that would be really nice for me, you know, to see uh, some Greek fans here and the Greek flags would be amazing. 
So I'm looking forward to to meet some of them. Fingers yeah. crossed we start doing Greek food in the stadium. Oh. <laughs> I mean, everyone loves Greek food, so uh, hopefully that's a, that's a change as well. Where do you go for Greek food in London? Do you have a? Oh, a I've food? been in many because I've been in yeah. London before, but I don't have any any specific to say right now. No, okay, <laughs> yeah. right, we'll, we'll check in. <laughs> well, I wanted yeah. to ask about. So you, I worked out you would have been about seven or eight when Greece won Euro 2004 and it was a, yeah. such a big thing. That was such a famous team. Do you remember Euro 2004? I think you would have been seven Yeah, I, I can remember the celebrations after the goal uh, against Portugal in the final. Uh, everyone was outside and celebrating like, uh, yeah, it was like a miracle, you know? Yeah. Was, was that, can you remember back to that time? Did that have a big influence on young young footballers in, Greek, in Greece at the time? You know, one, yeah, one yeah, for, to, for sure. And that. since then, I think many of Greek players went uh, all around the world to play football, and this mm -hmm. gave a lot of uh, uh, a lot of uh, motivation to young guys to get into the, the into this sport and passion for the football more. Yeah. yeah, there's a few Greek internationals in the Premier League at the moment. I think George Bulldog plays at Sheffield United and Simakas at Liverpool. Are you looking forward to hooking up with those guys when those fixtures come around? Yeah, yeah well, they are great players and great uh, characters. We have really good relationship and uh, I'm looking forward to play against them and win them. So, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. yeah, that's what we like to hear. Yeah, and have you got one eye, obviously you ex-Arsenal, you got one eye on that fixture when that comes around. Are you looking forward to... Yeah, I mean, every every game is important. So against everyone, I want to win. But that's what I want against Arsenal. Yeah, massively. And obviously, we're in the Europa League again this season. We've been, this is the third season in a row West Ham have been in Europe. You've, played, you've had a couple of games, I believe, in the Europa League, haven't you, in the past? Are you looking forward to testing yourself against the best Europe has? Yeah, yeah for sure. I think I think it's a, it's a good challenge as well to play outside of England. So you see what you can do against them in different countries. So... I'm looking forward to it as well. I think that's 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 going to be good for West Ham. Obviously, the, the more players we get in who've got international international experience like yourselves, I think it's going to help the club massively. You know, with these with these big European nights and talking about the atmosphere, how it was here on Sunday against Chelsea. You know, the, uh, the European nights we have here, they're they're, they're special. So um, you'll be in for a treat. Yeah, yeah. as yeah. I said, the the atmosphere was crazy. So yeah. Oh man. I'm so excited. Yeah. Uh, Ginger, we were chatting just before. I wondered if you had any advice. Like West Ham is such a massive club for mm. a new player like Dinos coming in. What does it mean to play for West Ham and like getting hassled in the street because there are West Ham <laughs> fans everywhere? That, yeah. um, first of all, it's, it's a massive football club. This this football club, I can only, you know, I've said it before and I'll say it again. It's, it's had a massive part of my life. Um, you can tell by your stature, the way you play, you know, you, you, you play with passion and, and play with your heart and... West Ham fans are the, are the best in the world. I, I, I give the same advice because it's true. You know, you you play well. You 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 know, you you give your all. You play for the badge. The West Ham fans are, are incredible. So um, you know, it's, it 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 takes a bit of getting used to. You know, moving to London certainly for me it was strange. But as soon as you get into the field and you know, it's a very family club. You know, they they give they show you a lot of love. Everyone at the training ground, the the staff and and the players. As soon as you get in used to it and and you do your thing on the pitch, you know, there's no better fans to play in front of. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and uh, I've just seen you having your photo shoot next door. You yeah. look good in that kit, and you've got the <laughs> yeah. new third kit up here as well. What do you think of the kits this season? You uh, look good and you I, look great. I, I, I can say I like all of them, but the white I think was uh, yeah. the nicer. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that was the same in the white. Whenever I put a white kit on, I always felt fresh and, and, <laughs> and, and just, and, just and went well with the red. Yeah, beard. yeah. Look good for your good play. Good. <laughs> that, that that was my sort of vibe. <laughs> all right. Uh, Interview done. Welcome to West Ham United. You know, so I just wondered if you thank had you. any messages for the fans before we let you go. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, no, I'm going to give all my, all, all, everything I have to, to perform to the stadium, to the pitch and uh, give uh, uh, happiness to the fans. So, yeah. Do you, and do, you think, do you think we might see another 30 yard screamer from you this season? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> first no of all, first the, of all, we defend. defend uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. And then, <laughs> speaks my language. Yeah. yeah. Brilliant. <laughs> Brilliant. Best of luck. Our new number 15, Mavra Panos. Welcome to West Ham, Dinos. Thank you. Thank you very much. Welcome. Thank you.